Let's integrate our GPT with the NASA API to provide real-time access to the location of asteroids traveling through space. This will elevate gameplay. Actions allow you to call third-party APIs by providing details about endpoints and parameters and describing how ChatGPT should use them. Actions for GPTs can be imported from an open API, not to be confused with open AI schema. So if you've already built a plugin, you can use your existing plugin manifest to define actions for your GPT. Actions replace plugins and OpenAI has made it easy to turn an existing plugin into an action in just a few minutes. I'm here on the configure tab for my GPT. You'll scroll down to the actions section and you will click create new action you will be presented with three main options, selecting the authentication schema for the action, inputting the schema, and setting the privacy policy URL. The schema follows the open API specification format to define how the GPT can access an external API. For now, we'll leave the authentication set to none, that is the default value. Make sure to test with a version of the API that doesn't require the hard-coded auth key. For the schema, you can take an existing open API specification or you can create a new one. Since I'm a plugin developer, I already have an open API specification online that I can import simply by clicking on the import button and pasting the URL of that schema and clicking import. You'll see it pulls down the contents of the file. It defaults the available actions, get count and get danger. Let's take a look at the components of this file. At the very top, there is an info section that contains the title, the description and the version of the API. Next, we have the servers section. It's the base path used in your API request. Scroll down. The next section, the path section. These are the endpoints that you want to expose. You don't have to expose every path in your API, just the endpoints that ChatGPT should know about. There are two paths, count, and danger. Count retrieves the number of asteroids headed toward the Earth. Within count, there's an operation object here, in this case, get, which is the only allowed operation. You have operation ID, which is a unique identifier for the path. There's the summary, a brief overview of the path, retrieve the count of the number of asteroids, and responses provided from the request. There's danger. That determines if dangerous asteroids are headed toward the Earth and follows the same format as count. You can also create a specification from scratch using the builder. Here, if you click on examples, there are three you can choose from for a starting point. Weather, pet store, and then a blank template. I will not select any of these examples since I already have my schema filled out. The next step is to put the URL to your privacy policy. And then you can click this back arrow. Notice now we have an action defined. And let's update. Click confirm. Now that it's published, let's test incorporating the action. For this instruction, let's manually update that to ensure that it uses real-time asteroid data. So this is the updated instruction. Ensure the game has high replayability by creating varied scenarios and dynamic storylines, the use of real-time asteroid data should result in different game experiences each time, encouraging players to play multiple times. Let's add a conversation starter. How many asteroids are headed 
toward the earth. That's the new conversation starter. Let's actually get rid of that one so that it shows up here in the preview pane. And let's test out the action by clicking on this conversation starter. Notice here that it is calling out to an HTTP endpoint. The very first time that you integrate this action, you'll need to select Always Allow since it is a trusted site. And the response is, Captain, our sensors indicate that there are currently three asteroids headed toward Earth. This poses a significant threat to our mission. We must decide how to proceed. So there are several options, evade and monitor, intercept and redirect, or gather data and report feedback. Through this testing, we see that it has integrated nicely with our action and the NASA API, and it is using that real-time information to inform the gameplay. Now that you understand how to integrate an action with your GPT, let's look at authenticating your action using an API key. 